there are some trends in social media that they're not going to change. Now, we talked earlier about how sometimes algorithms are going to shift or they're going to implement new strategies or even new looks to platforms and, 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 and news feeds. But there are some trends that you could utilize to your advantage that aren't going to change. I've got six of them, and I wrote about this on BreakingBrews.com in the past, and I will put the, the link to the full article on the show notes for this episode or for this session. But let's go over those real quick. First off, conversing with your audience, that's never going to change. Regardless of how algorithms shift and new nuances enter into the social web, utilizing these platforms for conversation, it's always going to be there. So use that power to your advantage. Talk to people. Get to know their likes and their dislikes. Don't get pissed off when someone leaves you a negative review. A negative review can be very, very powerful in the fact that it's going to show you where you may have screwed up a bit. And it's going to give you an opportunity to fix those issues. Now, not all reviews are 100% accurate. Some people tend to embellish and they get behind the keyboard and really take the story to a level that blows it out of proportion. But at the same time, if they're taking the time to do that, take the time to respond. Take the time to show that you care and that you want to help them get past that and ultimately bring them back for a second, third, fourth visit. A lot of times people will use a negative review just as a, as a platform to be heard. And the social web gives everybody that platform. So be the type of person that responds in a positive way and tries to get the most from those negative interactions so you can turn it into a positive one going forward. So no matter what changes with the social web, the power of conversation is always going to be in place. So use that to your advantage. Number two, getting results by consistently posting to your networks is never going to change. Now, we've already talked about this in detail, so... Developing a strategy of how often you want to post, that's entirely up to you, but I would recommend that you lean more towards daily or bi-daily versus weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly because, again, you're up against a lot of other companies that are doing these strategies daily. You want to be in that conversation. You want to be getting content that's out there and has the opportunity to be seen. And when you do it infrequently, it's just not going to happen. So consistency is king. I've been talking about it a lot on this on this session. Make sure that you use it as much as you possibly can. These networks are there for you at your disposal on a daily basis, and there are ways to plot out how to do this to where you're not spending all day every day in front of your computer. Use tools like Buffer and Hootsuite and TweetDeck and the scheduler within Facebook to plot out some content that's going to get in front of people that's going to make your brand more priority for you in the long run. Number three, being a thought leader in your industry is never going to change. There isn't an algorithm in the world that's going to take away your knowledge and your passion for your brand and for your industry. So use these networks to showcase that, whether it's through imagery, whether it's through word, whether it's through a combination of both, make sure that you're harnessing the power and the, the overall knowledge and skill set that you have in that digital space, and it's going to make people gravitate to your brand much more frequently. And the conversations that are going to spawn from that are going to be very worthwhile to you on a personal level and on a professional level. Number four, people asking for recommendations on social media is never going to change. Like I said earlier in the show, people are utilizing Facebook to ask for recommendations. I see a tweet almost every day on Twitter for podcast recommendations. You could Google these things, but people want to hear it from actual people. So jump in those conversations and answer those questions. But above all, make sure your brand is relevant because your fans are going to suggest you if they believe in you enough and they want other people to experience what you're all about. So utilize those networks and be a part of them. Because this is just going to, as the web continues to get more social, this is going to be the behavior that more and more people flock to every day. So be a part of that. Make sure you're relevant in these, in these spaces. Get content out there that showcases what you can offer to someone when they stumble upon your business. And converse with your loyal fans because you're turning them into brand advocates as you do that. So the more people love what you do and, and love how you're a part of their lives, they're going to want more people to experience that as well. 
Number five, people being dicks on social media will never change either. I, I'd said before, there's a lot that you can get from a negative review, and I, I fully believe that, but there are still going to be people that utilize social media just to be an asshole. There's no getting around that, so don't let it get you upset. Roll with the punches. You can choose, and there are many brands that do this very well, to be snarky in return. Wendy's is always the one that I that, that I use as an example when I'm talking about this specific area of, of voice or digital voice. Wendy's does it perfectly. They promote their brand, but in a lot of conversations, they are very, very snarky and, and asshole -ish. It's hilarious because you think of the, the, the size of that brand. It's great to see that they're humans. It shows that they're, there's a human element to their business. They're not trying to be this straight corporate jargon, branding, oh, you need to eat our burgers every day. They have a personality. You can choose to do that. It's totally up to you how you utilize your voice. But don't get hung up on the fact that people are going to be assholes and they're, they're going to be jerks. Again, if they're doing it in a fashion where they're trying to communicate with you about a truly horrible experience, then that's fine. You want to be, you want to, you want to thank them for that because again, they took the time to tell you, I didn't feel like this was on and I, I feel like you could be doing better here. This is all feedback that can help your brand grow. But if you make a beer and someone gets on and just shreds it because they don't like IPAs, well, fuck them. They, that's, that's their prerogative. That's never going to change. People are going to do that. But don't let it hurt you. Don't let it get you upset. Laugh it off and move on to the people that truly do. Because when you that truly do love you, because when you look at it, when you look at it on a grand scale, that negative voice is the minority. So don't let it keep you up at night. And finally, as simple as it can get, people using social media is never going to change either. We may bitch and moan and complain about algorithm shifts about, oh my God, what this person said and how Facebook is nothing but cat memes and I don't want to look at that. I don't care how often people say they're going to get off social media. They're not going to get off social media. In some way, shape, or form, we are all going to be part of this world for the rest of our lives. This is the world we live in today. And the world is driven by the internet. Communication is driven by the internet. Knowledge and education is driven by the internet. So there is no point in trying to think you're going to change the course of history and the course of our world as we live it today by saying I'm canceling my Facebook account. Now, in that same respect, as a, as a person, as, a, as an individual, if you feel these networks aren't worth your time, then they're not worth your time. That's fine. Don't, don't be on them. But do not criticize the brands and the people that are because the vast majority is utilizing platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google, YouTube, you name it. The list goes on and on. They're utilizing these networks to their advantage to build their brands, to communicate, to ultimately be a success within their industry. If you are a brand or a business of any kind and you're not utilizing the power that's at your at your fingertips and at your disposal every second of every day, you're doing it wrong. You want to be here. You want to be on these networks. You want to communicate. You want to be a part of that world. Fuck all the negativity. It's going to exist. But you can go to any corner of the world on any platform on any level and there's going to be something negative. Period. There's no getting around it. So don't disqualify something that can truly help your brand evolve just because there are elements of it that you don't like.